Greetings food lovers and welcome to Judy's VR Kitchen. It's virtual cooking in real time with real food. I'm Judy Rose, I'm a cookbook author, a food writer, and I love food that is fast, flavorful, easy, and fabulous from around the world. And top of my list is Kung Pao chicken from Sichuan, China. It's succulent chicken with soy sauce and fresh zingy flavors. In goes the soy sauce. Fresh zingy flavors like zi ginger and healthy fresh veggies, peppers, and gorgeous bok choy and spring onions and all kinds of good stuff. So first up, I'm marinating my chicken. It said I said it's fast and easy. I've done it, that's it, and it's going into the pan. I've got my wok burner here. This is my new stove, courtesy of Frames by Frankie. Absolutely awesome. I've got my wok preheating. You want a really nice hot wok when you're doing stir frying. And in goes the oil little ribbon round the edge, just like a little bit of a tablespoon, there we go, and we're up. okay, swirl it round. Now, the thing with stir frying is you must get the pan crazy hot, you want to see the smoke, and when you see the smoke and you think, oh my god, it's time to call the fire service, you wait another five seconds, and then you add your food. Okay, in we go. Now, in goes our chicken, stand back, see the flames and the smoke, well, not the flames, but the smoke. Okay, spread it around, in we go. Rule of browning with stir frying. If you want it to brown, don't move it around. Spreading it. I'm gonna let it do its thing for a moment. Okay, while my chicken is doing its thing, let's move on to these gorgeous veggies and aromatics. I got Romano pointed peppers. Sweet, crunchy, absolutely gorgeous. Chop off its bottom, cut it in half, and then we're just gonna whip out that kind of bit in the middle because that doesn't have any flavor. Pepper's really rich in vitamin C, but these particular pointy ones, hello, these are sweet as well, really gorgeous. And I'm gonna cut those into little pieces about the same size as my chicken, which is about an inch, gonna like, what's that, like two and a half centimeters, can't do the maths. But anyway, there goes our peppers. Oh, let's do the rest of it, why not? Such good stuff. Okay, into little diamondy pieces like that. Don't worry about making them perfect. This is home cooking. This isn't restaurant cooking, but it's going to taste like restaurant cooking. Okay, there's our peppers. Next up, some bok choy. There's a little baby Shanghai bok choy. Woo! Take off the bum. Sorry, white language there. And we're just going to separate the white part from the green part. There we go. Bok choy, peppers, get rid of that little fella. Okay, next up, some gorgeous fresh ginger. Now, here's a little trick for peeling all those knobbly, skinny bits off ginger. Take yourself a teaspoon, okay? And then you just basically hold your spoon like that, you scrape it a little bit, and off comes the skin. See all that? Off it comes. Okay, now of course you could just use a peeler if you want, but what's great about the spoon is it gets over all these little lumpy knobbly bits. There it goes. Okay, let's dump all our bits in my trusty bin. How's our chicken doing? Oh, look at that, that is awesome. Now I want to show you, I didn't move it around, now I'm going to turn it, and look how it's got that absolutely gorgeous crust on it. Okay, now we do the stir-fry bit. There it goes. Or what the Chinese call pao, which is basically Chinese for sautéing. Here we go. Whoop, up and over. There we go. It's pao. In the Chinese restaurants where they have the woks this big, they have the guys do this. Women aren't allowed to do it. I know, no, it's not woman's work. Okay, a couple of thin slices of ginger here. And those are going to be our aromatics. They're going to pop in the bottom of the wok when we get on to our last part. Okay and some spring onions, scallions. Okay, now, the thing about spring onions and scallions, it's really two veg in one. You've got the white part, which is like onion, but then you've got the green part, which is really like a herb, a herb. Lovely, rich, aromatic. We're just gonna roughly chop that. And our white part, we're gonna do in some little diamondy bits. Now, what's great about this, you see a chicken is doing its thing, it's basically already done, and pretty much everything else now is done, apart from a little bit of uh, chili and some brown bean sauce. We'll come to that in a minute. Okay, let's move our guys over here. Chicken, beautiful. Look at that. Okay, chicken is going to go into a little dish. Authentic Chinese dish from Chinatown in Manhattan. And by the way, we're in London today. We've gone from Manhattan to Acton. In one fell swoop. Okay, there we go. That's our chicken. That's going to sit there for a little bit. And now in goes our aromatics and our veggies. Let's see, just a tiny, tiny bit more oil. 
you don't really need much oil. The whole process is going to be like less than a tablespoon for the whole recipe here. And this will serve at least two or three people. If you double the chicken and do it in two batches, you've got a meal for four or six. Okay, there we go. Nice and hot. On we go. In goes the aromatics. That's the ginger. Okay. And a bit of the veggies. Give it a bit of a pow. Okay. Awesome. I wish you could smell it. You know, virtual reality TV is awesome, but when they bring virtual smell, aroma, that's going to be something else. Okay, excellent. Now, we've got some chilies here. These are dried Sichuan chilies. They're not crazy hot, but they have a lovely kind of sweet, smoky, rich flavor. And I'm just going to pop those in in a second, and they'll add a little bit. But if you want to add a little bit more boost, if you have chili lovers, and my family are chili lovers, we're going to cut it in half and let some of those seeds escape. Okay, off we go. In goes the rest of the veggies. There we go. Our bok choy. Our green onions. Ooh, he's a bit big. Down. Okay, more pow. Wee. Okay, in goes the chicken. There we go. Ooh, look at all that gorgeous juice. Tell me that is not awesome, but we're not there yet. Okay, last but not least, one of the killer apps of Chinese cooking. This is brown bean sauce. It's made with fermented soybeans. It has this gorgeous, umami, salty, miso y kind of amazing flavor. So that's going to go in. Toss that around, a bit of pow. And then last but not least, one of my all time favorite ingredients this is Shaoxing, Chinese rice wine. Ugh. I have been known to swig this from the bottle when things get desperate. Add your wine around the edge of the wok. Look at that. Bloody amazing. Ugh. Oh, smell it, just imagine. We've got those gorgeous flavors coming up. The soy, the fresh veggies. Okay, and guess what, guys? That's it. It's Kung Pao chicken. It's done. But wait, there's more. We need a little rice with it. I love with a little bit of rice. Just gonna make myself a little tiny rice mound here. Here's my rice. Here's my mound. Ta-da! Pop our chicken into the bowl. Move all the droppy as we say in our family, out of the way. Okay, there's our Kung Pao, into the bowl. Silence fell. And there we have Kung Pao chicken. Real recipes, real time, in Judy's virtual kitchen. Enjoy. Right, time to tuck in. Where are my chopsticks? I have some chopsticks. Ah, there we go. Okay. Mm. Don't mind me while I eat. Oh, smell, I can smell that ginger. That chicken is so succulent. I use chicken thighs, by the way, because they are much more succulent and you can never overcook them. Let's have a go. Mmm, that is bloody brilliant. Mmm, first time I've used my wok. I'm gonna turn out a bloody brilliant recipe. Mmm, love it. Go and have a go. Share your ideas, share your photos. Email me with any questions, message me. But above all, enjoy Kung Pao chicken from Judy's VR kitchen. Take care. Mm. Time to do the washing up.